Hey, welcome back to another Simple Kids Crafts video, and you're dressed all fuzzy and warm because it's winter time, and guess what holiday is coming up? Yeah. It's Valentine's Day! Right. How could you forget? I, I wasn't forgetting. It involves like pink, this. one of your favorite colors. Yay! All now right. Don't get why we're using a skull eraser. Uh, that's just the only one I could find. Anyway. Oh, in here. I got another squiggly one. Okay. Well, today we're going to be making Valentine's cards. So, let's get started. For this project, you will need Sharpie, pencil, write in pencil, and then trace it with Sharpie. Then, you need scissors. And glue! Use, and, okay. yes, glue sticks. And if your pencil doesn't have a good eraser, carry a variety of erasers. So, we're going to start by, oh, and a little bit of red paper, and of course pink paper like I already showed. So, we're going to start by full, by lining up the corners on our pink paper like this. Like, um, and then, yeah, like that, yeah. And then, and then folding them and creasing them. Like this. And it's kind of out of order. Your paper. Don't worry. It, yeah. Whoever you're giving it to is probably going to still like it. Your paper should look like this. Stop opening your big mouth card. <laughs> Alright. Next, we're going to need some red paper. And be careful with the scissors. And we're going to cut out some hearts. Uh -huh. Now if you mess up the first time, just you'll get it. And I'm going to help my sister with the cutting because I think she might need a little bit of help. You mean to say Alice. Yes, Alice. <laughs> Valentine's Day is the season of love, but it's also the season of craziness. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much every day is when we be crazy cougars. Snip. Crazy cougars. All right. Crazy so cougars. we're going to cut out our hearts. You want me to help you cut out our heart? Okay. Okay. We're going to skip this. Okay, so that's all we'll need the scissors for. We got both of our hearts cut out. And then here's where we'll need the glue. So plate. So flip your heart over on whatever side you don't want to show. Then spread some glue on that side. He has invisible glue. And yours won't really here. If you yours won't really show either if it's you know once that kind of glue dries it turns kind of invisible. But yeah. And then after you do that, make sure there's lots of glue on there so it'll stay, but not too much. Don't break your glue stick. And then pa place your heart on the middle of the paper. Like that. Mm. Like this. And now, on our cards, we're going to write either you want to write Happy Valentine's Day or It's Valentine's Day. We can write inside. But, um, how... Oh, I have an idea. How about we write Happy Valentine's Day in here, and then say to whoever well, from... Well, maybe. Okay, so we can design our cars the way we want, but I'm going to write happy. So, happy. Should it be in all capitals? Okay. I'm going to do it, too. Actually, I'm just going to say H A P P Y V. Valentine is kind of hard to spell, so it's spelled V A L E. 
then, uh, oops, I messed up. What do we do? We just erase it. That's what erasers are for. Um, how, so, do, you, how do you spell Valentine's? V-A-L. V. A. L. E. N. E. N. Then T. I. T. I. Then what? N. E. S. N. E. S. Okay. So I'm gonna write happy up here, and then whatever you wanna write, you can write it. Um, one second. We're going to skip this. Okay, so, now that we got that done, we're going to, I'm going to rewrite Valentine's Day down here. Just a dot, dot, dot. Oops, that's four dots. <laughs> Silly. I anyway. already wrote two from at the bottom. Good. Okay, so... Valentine's is kind of a tricky word to spell if you're under age six or five. So, Valentine's Day is spelled V A L E N V A L E N. T I N E S. Okay, that's how you spell Valentine's. Here, if you don't remember, it's right here. You got it down? We're gonna move along, but you can cause the pause the video to copy that down if you didn't get it the first time. Cause the video. I mean pause. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I wrote have a cool Valentine's Day at the top. Great. So now we're going to write two and f so now we're going to write you can do to and from on the outside but I'm going to do to and from on the inside. Cool. So I'm going to make two. Ooh, I'm going to make this for Mommy. Okay. You can dedicate your Valentine cards to anyone you want. I'm just going to say to Mom. Even if your Valentine's cards are for, I don't know, cheese? Anyway, two. From. From is kind of a tricky word. So, from <laughs> is spelled F R O M. Oops. Looks well, more like a zigzag than an M. For some reason, when, I ex when I'm excited, I always get letters wrong. <laughs> so. I get that too. So we're. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, guys. Are you making a nice little thing? Oh, yeah. Are you doing a video right now, no? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. Keep going. So, anyway. So, like I was saying, you can dedicate your cards to anyone you want. Like, I'm going to dedicate mine to. Hmm, let's see. Yours is for Mom, right? Yeah, you can do it to your dad, mom, grandpa, grandma, great grandma, great grandpa, and All right. uncle. I'm gonna cousin. Mm. I'm gonna dedicate mine to dad. Okay. It's who. And that's kind of a pretty easy word to spell. Just D. Are a. you gonna write pictures right next to the words? Yes. D. And then in the from section, you can write your name. So I'm going to write Beck B E E C 
C-K. That's my name. Um, and so you can write now before we write our little messages and draw our little pictures, we're going to trace over this stuff with Sharpie. And if you want, we're going to draw pictures. So you, so you might want to use coloring materials. I think that I'm going to use markers. You can use anything you want. So, when you're tracing over your letters, you got to be very careful uh -huh. to not go out of the lines. And don't write completely different letters over your letters, because that would just be silly, and nobody would be able to read it, would they? Would they be able to read it? No way. Yeah. Like so to from Banshee Ook <laughs> like that exactly <laughs> so yeah you're trying to stay as close to your original to your letter's original shape as possible if you don't get it exactly right that's fine I said a Banshee Ook which means screaming ghost <laughs> I know. <laughs> a banshee is a screaming ghost. So, Can you please help me, please. All right. We're going to skip this. Okay. So now we have our letters traced. So, inside, we can write a special message and draw any picture. So, you can start drawing your picture while I kind of finish tracing my letters. So, you can take over this part. Okay. You ready to be the boss of the video? Yeah. It's a big job. Yeah. All right. Now, we are going to write um, what we want to say inside the card. So, if you want, you can just start with the picture. Um, or think about what you're going to right in it um i think you should probably start with the picture and then write around the picture maybe um i'm just gonna put the picture here and right here because that's what i really do but yeah i normally write right here and draw here but you and draw on the back a little but you don't have to do it um so okay yeah. so what i'm gonna draw is a little heart with an arrow going through it so you just draw a line up, two lines up in a V shape like that. I know how to draw how you do that. And then a curve in on each side like that. Now to draw the arrow. Draw a stick and then a line where the stick ends. Like this. <laughs> like that. And next what you do is you draw the arrow is you draw the feathers on the arrow like that. If you want your arrow not to have feathers, then you don't have to. And then draw... I have a question, Nick. What? Why the heck do you want to put arrows through a heart? It's a heart arrow. And then draw a little heart on the edge of the arrow like that. Okay. I'm going to write, so now 
if you've done that, now you can write what you're going to write inside. Um, so, yeah. Let's yeah. skip this. Yahoo! Skip! So, now, we're going to try to make a little, like, message. So, normally, if you want this to be kind of a formal card, write it. Deer and then a comma. Deer is spelled D E, e A R. Oh. And then and a comma is like that little thing below, like that. Or uh, there. If you. And I don't write D E E D E E R because that's like the animal forest one mm -hmm. that. We normally see sometimes. Okay. And then you write the name of whoever you're giving this to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write deer right here. D E A. Actually, maybe the comma doesn't go there. No, the comma doesn't go there. It goes after the person's name that you're writing this to. Deer like this. And then you can write whatever you want, but I'm going to write it. I love you. You is spelled Y-O-U. A lot. But you do not have to copy what I'm writing. Oof. You do not copy what I'm writing. Unless you want yours to say the same thing. But, anyway, we're going to skip the rest of our writing. Should we? Um. Maybe one more sentence and then we skip the rest? Um, no thanks. So we just want to skip all of this? Yes. Alright, we're going to skip the rest of this. Alright, our cards are finished. Um... So, uh, as you can see, I traced over everything I wrote, and I wrote something that Dad likes. Dad really likes Switch peanut butter cups, so I wrote Switch plus peanut butter cups equals heart people. And, of course, like I showed you before, this. And do you want to show him your card, Alice? Mm -hmm. If Can you help me? Okay. So, Alice drew a lovely heart here. A little message from Mom. And her and Mom standing in a nice sunny field. Now, it's, I think it's time to say our goodbye. We hope you guys had lots of fun with us making our lovely Valentine's Day cards. And we'll see you all in our next video. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Day.